In the year 2038, only a fraction of society can afford the medical improvements brought about by bio and nanotechnologies. A divide occurs between older, wealthy people who can afford longevity solutions and everyone else. In order to protect themselves from cognitive disease associated with aging, the wealthy increasingly choose to connect their brains wirelessly to the cloud. Working together, these connected brains use new sensory equipment to perform experiments and innovate new products and transformational new science. Managers, in turn, will need to rely on simulation and artificial intelligence to manage research performed by these connected brains. As these powerful networks of brains seek to solve harder and harder problems, they participate in open innovation challenges that award significant prizes to teams that find transformative solutions for companies or social issues. Prize R&D also drives another form of innovation done by those financially unable to afford the bio and nano enhancements of the wealthy. These people will only work closely with others that they highly trust and share information and knowledge behind complex firewalls. This will require managers to constantly walk the line of opening access to information required for research while maintaining trade secrets. As this form of innovation from these close-knit groups grows, this model becomes an option for many people in the sciences when embarking on a career, especially women. These new, tightly-knit communities enable more women to participate in all levels of research across their entire professional careers and at the same time raise their families. Scientists known for winning multiple open innovation challenges become celebrities in high demand. Rather than commit to a single company, these stars make themselves available to companies on a temporary basis for high fees. This increases the risk for companies willing to pay their fees. As globalization and consumer demand continue to make it harder to bring new products to market, companies must find ways to expand creativity while reducing risk. Looking at business models of other high-risk, high-creativity industries with well-compensated stars, they find and adopt the structure of Hollywood movie studios. Corporate R&D managers become producers who are given funds to hire the celebrity scientist directors and use their input to cast the innovation project. These R&D managers learn to excel at casting for projects. The ability to bring together the right mix of established stars, newcomers, and character actors becomes a strategic advantage. The Hollywood model returns disproportionate success to some of the celebrity scientists, while many researchers work for scale and just get by. This approach maximizes the speed and creativity of R&D projects while spreading the risk across many players. This scenario is just a short 25 years away. How does this impact us today? Go to IRI's website to explore this and other scenarios in more depth, learn about implications for research and technology management, and view more products from the IRI 2038 project.